Hello friends, this is Bushcraft Ellie. Today I introduce you to the three Raptor knives from Templar Knives. The blacksmith Andrew Jordan from the Netherlands has released an update of his first series here after approximately nine years, which was limited to 100 items. He has now decided to forge three different sizes. These are the Raptor knives S, M and L. The old design with small changes and the different sizes should be adapted to the possible uses that exist in all areas of outdoor applications. I hope you enjoy my review and now let's go into the details. See you in the end! Each Raptor knife is supplied in a black plastic case which also contains spare parts and accessories. The knife is well protected by foam in the case. Included is a 2.5 by 100 hex branch. I got these beautiful lanyards from Andrew, but they are not included normally. There are some screws, etc. And the case will arrive in a sealed condition, which emphasizes the value of the knife. Under the bottom foam are various stickers and a description and warranty to the knife with the individual number of the knife, which is also engraved on the blade. More about this later. I also like the idea of the seal and stamp on the document, which is a nice reference to the times of the Knights Templar in the Middle Ages where documents and papers were protected from curious eyes with a seal. Andrew first produced the Raptor knife in size L and has now designed three sizes to appeal to different hand sizes. However, I can say that all three sizes fit superbly in my hand. The Kydex sheet fits tightly and perfectly on the knife and there are no sharp edges. The full snap when the knife is inserted in the sheet is full of sound and is fun to listen to. Quality that you can hear. The original tech lock belt clip from Blade Tech is, as expected, of high quality and thanks to the adjustable pins, it can be worn with different belt widths. So let's get the knives out of the sheet. The sheets are set for very tight retention. The extraction can be altered by the M5 screw at the top near the throat of the sheet from light to very hard, depending on how tightly you screw the M5 screw. The handle material of all three knives is made of a carbon fiber resin mix with a yellow color on the inside that is hardly visible. The material has proven to be tough enough for use in cold and hot climates. All three raptors stand on the butt caps in perfect balance. This shows how the mass of each raptor is in balance. Andrew told me that he designed the balance of the raptor knife that it hit the floor first with the butt cap when the knife is lost from the grip to protect the cutting edge or the boat deck when you use it in fishing. The center balance is on the first screw on the frame. If you spin the raptors on a flat surface, they will spin on the first screw. There is a lanyard hole for a lanyard in the butt cap that is very practical for some knife techniques. The blade steel of all three knives is B-cut hardened to HRC 58. So it is usable in all kind of conditions and will not rust also in tropical salt water. Brilliant! Let's have a look at the size S. I show you the specifications that Templar knives are giving on the website. And as you can see, the small one is compact and lightweight. The small is nice to handle for people with smaller hands or for those who prefer to carry light and concealed without making concessions on the quality of the knife. I like the idea of incorporating the new owner's individual initials at the end of the butt cap so that the knife has a personal touch. Nice! The handle shells and the butt cap can be removed by loosening the screws with the supplied hex branch to clean the knife, for example. The knife lies perfectly in my hand thanks to the ergonomic handle. The riffling on the top of the blade ensures a non-slip handling. 
And I love the notch on the lower blade area, which enables safe and precise work. The edge of the blade is an asymmetric flowing into a symmetric bevel. It is sharpened for right-handed use or left. But now finally to the practical application. One thing is certain. The Raptor S is fun to use. Especially in the finer areas, such as making feather sticks or so on. The knife is very easy to handle and has an extremely sharp blade like the other two sizes also. Chopping is easily possible with this little beast. Let's have a look. I was very curious to see how the Raptor S would perform while batoning. And what can I say? Of course, it went through the wood with astonishing ease. You can absolutely describe it as small and fine. Let's have a look. So this exercise and the result had convinced me. What do you think? Write it in the comments. I have to admit that I had so much fun using the knife that I could hardly stop testing. Okay, we have two more knives on the list. Here I show you the Raptor M, the knife in the middle and its specifications. It has the same blade thickness and handle size as the L, but the length and the height of the blade is more compact and so it is overall lighter and shorter than the L. The size M also fits great in the hand and you hardly want to put it away. The high quality workmanship can be felt and thanks to the riffling on the handle shells, a firm grip is guaranteed even when wet or sweaty hands. In addition, the material should be odor repellent. The long-term test must show whether this is true. In the practical test, the Raptor M was able to convince in the fine-tuning as well as in shopping or by toning. The sharpness of the knife is unbelievable and although I actually prefer the Scandi cut on a knife, I have to admit that this cut is so perfectly designed that it is a real pleasure to work with. Splitting the wood was easy to do and with the M you can trust that even thicker locks will not cause any problems. I would rather not do the S to split thick blocks of wood because the blade is simply not long enough. But as you have just seen, the S easily takes on thinner wooden branches. Last but not least, the biggest knife in the Raptor series, the size L. The large one is the joker under these knives. Whether you want to use it for vetoning, preparing your food or make feather sticks, the large can do it all. On the blade of all knives, the mark of the brand as well as the size designation and the number of the knife are engraved. The Raptor L also feels fantastic in my hand and I had a good feeling the first time I used it. I like the weight of 322 grams which gives the knife a lot of punch for the harder work. It has an excellent sharpness that plows through anything you want to tackle. At 479 euros, as the highest price of all three knives, it is an expensive purchase, but this quality is justified. Like chopping, making feather sticks is no problem due to the size of the knife and the blade. Of course, you don't have the sensitivity, which you definitely have with the small version and can also be better implemented with the medium. Oh wait, I've just been too stupid. Who knows? But it works with the right technique or the best. Friends, what can I tell you? The Raptor L is a wood splitting monster. How incredible the knife goes through the wood is absolutely convincing. And as you can see, I had taken a decent wood thickness, 
Fantastic. A real pleasure to work with a large and to prepare the firewood. Carving is really fun with all three raptor knives. Even this small knife here is very usable with different techniques, although it has a smaller handle. Precise work is no problem at all with the knives and the material is excellently removed. After all the tests, I noticed that the sharpness of the knives was consistent because at the end I did another ultimate fine test. Let's take a look in a minute and see how they do in the dreaded tomato test. Before we get down to the really fine work, Ben has to get something to eat. But as the rascal is, he wants the big piece of the cake right away. Labradors are somehow always starved. <laughs> So now comes the test that would make many other knives give up. I took cherry tomatoes to challenge the knives again at the end of the review, because as well all know cutting tomatoes is the ultimate display of sharpness. Well, now guess how the three knives from Templar Knives scored. That's right, one plus plus plus. Unbelievable, the blade went through the tomatoes like butter. Without exception, what a brilliant sharpness. So all three Raptor knives have passed the test with distinction and the tomatoes have been killed. They were delicious by the way and no, Ben didn't get any. Poor Ben. Here you can see all three knives on the belt and the differences in size. The Kydex sheet makes the knives fit comfortably on the body. Pulling them out is quick and easy and putting them back in is haptically confirmed by a click and audibly by the snap. In situations where you need that reassurance of safe storage of the knife, a Kydex sheet makes sense. Losing the knife from the sheet is almost impossible with it. That was my review of the three incredibly exciting knives from Templar Knives. Let's come to the conclusion. First of all, these knives are absolutely convincing. And this in terms of the design, quality and craftsmanship. They have an ergonomic shape and the grip textures give a very firm and stabilizing grip when chopping and the weight balance ensures an effective hand control. So fine work with these knives is also joyous heavier work. I like the three sizes so you can choose what you need or what fits the best. Very clever is the idea to weight the knives that they fall on the butt cap first to protect the blade. The asymmetric cutting edge comes razor sharp to you. Because of the third gen stainless steel B-cut steel, it's also usable in salt water for fishing or other outside tasking and it will not rust. Brilliant! The Kydex sheet sits snugly on the knife and the blade tag lock offers various options for different belt types and attachments. Right from the start you have a very valuable feeling when you hold the knives in your hands. Respect to Andrew Jordan for this fine craft and it was a great pleasure to try these knives out in the woods. Friends, what do you think of the knives? What do you value when it comes to knives? Please leave me a comment. If you like the review, give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and push the bell. Thank you very much for watching. I say bye, Bushkateri.